I wish I could propose a game in the same way that they had. Um, oh my God, I'm blanking on his name, but what won't uh, what won't Stanley notice? Yeah. Uh, what what won't Marjorie Green believe? I wish we could see. Like if I told her, I have video evidence. That George Soros is planning to suck all the oxygen out of Earth's atmosphere with a gigantic vacuum cleaner to send to the alien Jewish planets. Are you 100% sure she wouldn't retweet that? Are you really sure? Because I got a video for you. She believes literally every shooting has some other ulterior motive. Here she is after the devastating deadly Vegas shooting. Here is what she believes was actually happening there. Friends, I've got a question for you. How do you get avid gun owners and people that support the Second Amendment to give up their guns and go along with anti-gun legislation? How do you do that? Maybe you accomplish that by performing a mass shooting into a crowd that is very likely to be conservative, very likely to vote Republican, very likely to be Trump supporters, very likely to be pro-Second Amendment, and very likely to own guns. You make them scared, you make them victims, and you change their mindset. And then possibly you can pass anti-gun legislation. Is that what happened in Las Vegas? Is that why um, the country music festival was targeted? Because those would be the people, would be the ones that we would relate to? Are they trying to terrorize our mindset and change our minds on the Second Amendment? Is that what's going on here? I have a lot of questions about that. I don't believe Stephen Paddock was a lone wolf. I don't believe that he pulled this off all by himself. And I know most of you don't either. So I am really wondering if there is a, there's a bigger motive there. And does it have to do with the Second Amendment? Because what's the best way to control the people? You have to take away their guns. So that's just my question today. This is Marjorie Green with American Truth Seekers. So really fast aside there, you heard her refer to herself as Marjorie Green. That's her name now. I'm done with the Marjorie Taylor Green stuff. She's trying to make herself sound more interesting. She's trying to do the AOC thing. No, I'm done with it. No, seriously, like we've got MTG right there. We're not doing that in the future. It's green. It's Representative Green, unfortunately. That's the joke on us that she got elected. I'm done with it. She called herself that. I don't have to do any more than that. But anyway, so what she said is that that devastating deadly shooting in Vegas um, I mean, she's not saying anything. She's just asking questions. Um, was it faked to take away your guns? And I love when people propose things like that because the guns weren't taken away. So what happened exactly? The government, I guess, which weren't, up, weren't the Republicans in control at that point anyway? But anyway, let, let's pretend that the Democrats were in control. They went to all the trouble of gunning down dozens of Americans to take your guns and then I forgot, I forgot to actually take your guns afterward. Why do they keep doing all these false flags and getting nothing for it? It seems like a really bad investment of your conspiracy theory dollars. Um, but she believes that. She is just saying like with Sandy Hook and like with Parkland, that shooting in Vegas was fake. Why? Because ah, it seems sort of bad that all these people with guns are shooting a bunch of people. So what if secretly all these shootings mean that you're more justified in having your guns. That makes people with very tiny smooth brains feel more comfortable. And so that is what she put out, either because she actually believes it or because she knows that her prospective audience, after all that isn't a video that she's putting out to get likes and clout and dollars and all that, that they might like to believe that that's true. Yes, it's just the face on her man, the look in her eyes that that intonation of I'm smarter than you. And because of space lasers and this crazy can and it's and it's because it's a show and they say that on the forums. This is the best show I've ever seen. Cuz dude, get Netflix, get Disney Plus, go watch some Disney movies. Those just they've got some good shows on there. You don't need to bring that to the halls of Congress and they talk about false flags all the time, but the only false flag operation going on is that she pretends she cares about the United States. She doesn't She cares about being cool on QAnon conspiracy theory message boards. That's it. If she really cared, she'd do her research. She's a congresswoman. But it it makes her feel so good and so important to, to feel like she's got that edge by asking questions 
I love when they have rhetorical questions that actually have answers. They just don't want to go any further than that. This is their destination. Their destination is the question, not the answer. That's what's so frustrating. They and and this position of power. And I just don't know what we tried to get through them with actual thoughts and actual facts and actual reasoning and actual logic. But I just keep thinking of that thing that might be misquoted from Mark Twain, which is it's easier to fool people than convince them they've been fooled. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're 100% right. They, because it's not like they're asking a rhetorical question that questions can be answered. They love to believe that's the big thing about conspiracy theorists is that they think they're thinking more than you. They think they're researching more than you. And yet they come to the conclusion that space lasers are responsible. You already have an explanation. This guy did it, he shot up some people. If you just ask a question, you also need to demonstrate why that wasn't true. And the answer can't just be, I find it inconvenient, that's not good enough. But unfortunately, it is good enough to have that worldview to get elected, you can do that. She is, with the space lasers and the false flags, can a case be made that Alex Jones is crazier than her? They're crazy in the exact same ways. I remember doing a video on Alex Jones, where he talked about how John Kerry shot a massive laser into a hurricane and it cut it into two different hurricanes. That is maybe crazier than the space laser thing, but it's basically the same idea. It's the elites have got lasers that are making stuff. And she believes that and um, she's elected. So maybe the joke's on us, I don't know. I would love to see her expelled. I haven't seen any movement in that direction, but there ain't a thing. she. She's on the education committee. She's on the educate. That's an insult because it has to do with kids, obviously, but to the very idea of becoming educated. Anyway, that is Marjorie Green for you. Stop calling her Taylor. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.